fucking hoes and popping pillies, man, I feel just like a rock star. All my brothers got that gas and they always be smoking like a rock star. Fucking with me, call up on no Uzi and show up, man, them the shot ties. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be doing yet again another makeup tutorial. Um, this look I'm going to be going for more of a going out New Year's Eve deep smoky look. Um, this look would be good for day to day if you like to be dramatic or going out, birthdays, occasions, all that kind of jazz. Um, so it is a nighttime makeup because it is going to be deep and smoky. So. Yeah, if you're interested on how I achieve this look, then keep on watching. So I've already gone and done my base like I usually do. I've done my primer, foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer, eyebrows, all that jazz is already ready to go. I do have lip balm on my lips just as I do like to keep um, something moisturizing and hydrating on them as I am doing my makeup. So we're going to move on to the eyes. So the transition shade I'm going to be taking today on just a normal big fluffy brush. I'm going to go in with, I should really think about it before I start. So I'm going to go in with just this sort of apricot-y shade just up there, just to work as my transition shade. I will um, zoom you guys in so you can actually see what I'm doing. So with that transition shade that we have taken, we're just going to put that all over the lid, just with sweeping motions. I swear every single makeup tutorial that I've done is using my crown brush palettes, but to be real, they are amazing. And I highly recommend you guys getting one. I'm going to take my Rimmel London Mag Magnify Eyes Spice Edition palette. I used this in my previous makeup tutorial and I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna take this shade just here. Now this palette is really, really um, pigmented, so pretty warning. And I'm just going to take that pretty much where I took, see how pigmented that is? Holy shit. And I just want to take that pretty much everywhere that I put the transition shade, but not as high up. The smaller blending brush. I'm then going to go in just with that deeper, sort of like plum, plum shade just there and just take that on my outer and in my crease. I'm going to take this deep purpley shade there. So I'm going to go and take a brush like that and with that color just pack it on my outer and just deepen it up that little bit. And then back in with that same dark auburn shade over here and just apply that over the same area. You've just applied that dark purple. And then just go back over with a smaller blending brush and just soften that in. Okay, and now with your original transition shade, you just want to get that with your big fluffy brush and just melt all those colors together. And now for the lid color. So you want to take a flat pack brush like that. I'm going to take this shade right here. So now we're going to do our lower lash line. So I'm going to go in with my original transition shade. Then we're going to go in and take this pumpkin shade there and repeat the same step. Okay, and then we're going to grab that last With a white shade, we are just going to pop that on our inner corner. 
just to add a little bit more brightness. Okay, so now we wanna go in with a black gel liner or pencil, and we just want to do that on our waterline. Okay, so now that we have done our eyes, we want to move over to lashes. So the lashes that I'm gonna be using today are gonna be the Ardell Wispy Lashes today. So you just want to get yourself some lash glue and lash up those lashes. Oh, we want to stick those bad boys on. Okay, now that lashes are done, we're going to go, oh my eyes are watering, we're going to go in with some mascara. So I'm going to be using the Maybelline Colossal, the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. Now that our eyes are done, we're going to move over to the highlighter, favorite part. Now I'm going to be using a different highlighter today. I'm going to be using the Champagne Highlight out of one of my highlight palettes that I have. Um, it's the Pro Fusion, Pro Fusion palette. So I'm going to be going in with oh, that and I'm going to be spraying down my brush just with a little bit of setting spray to make the highlighter a little more dramatic. Wow. Oh my God. How amazing is that? Now on your Cupid's bow. Tip of the nose. Okay, so now that the lips are on, I then want to go in just with the... Okay, I want to go in just with my uh, MAC Matte Honey Love Lipstick. And I just want to put a bit of that on the back of my hand. And then with my lip lining brush, I just want to pat that on the inside. Okay, with my finger maybe. on the inside of my lips, just to create a bit more of an ombre effect. Now this is the finishing result. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember if you like me or you like watching my videos, please hit the like and subscribe button down below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.